Inspector Spooner. Little Lord Adrian. What can the village Bobby do for you? Are you trying to suck up to me, or are you pulling my leg? You choose. Have you arrested Tom? They vanished into the woods. We've started a search. Might you possibly be able to, to give me a tiny bit of information? Really? I can't wait. You searched Miss Valley's house, didn't you? Did you come across any kind of archaeological notes or, or drawings while you were at it? Zack? Hmm? Shouldn't you been off on the beat long ago? You know, Adrian, I get the feeling that our, let's call it a relationship, has got rather bogged down of late. You're constantly coming to me with some new request. It's always me who's supposed to give you something. I'm thinking it's time we changed all that. Would you like to come with me to see Doc Winterbottom? Do some couple therapy? Nice idea, but I've got something else planned, as you perhaps already noticed. I sometimes tend towards making quite hasty judgments. That's one of the reasons they redeployed me here to Willow Creek. I'd actually imagine my life as a police inspector somewhat differently. Pursuits, shootouts, explosions. <laughs> You're looking into my very soul. But without some clear evidential success under my belt, I'm not going to be getting out of this dump all that quickly. And what with your circumstances having sadly changed somewhat? What's supposed to have changed there? I'm innocent now, just like I always was. But now your nobility, as you have so strikingly noticed. And here in good old England, that is a good reason to treat things with more of a feather-like touch. Or to put it another way, an error in such a case would definitely not be good for my career. H have I got this right? You're crapping yourself because I own a castle now. Perhaps it's still not too late to forget the whole thing and close the case. But to do that, I have to present the judge with something meaningful. Is that a polite request for a confession? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, no, you misunderstood me. The thing with Tom and that Phil is already a good start. Also, Murray has corrected his statement and given you an alibi for the Miss Valley murder. Seems to like you a lot, that bloke. But there's still this Lewis and Angelina woman. They're officially missing, but someone who's missing also can be a perpetrator. You do see that. Ah, <sighs> we're speaking the same language at last. What's happening with Miss Valley's house now? Um, have you found anything there? We only found some photos of you, and we also took a few other things relevant to the case. If you think you can find something there that might bring this case to a close, then I'll let you have a look around the house. Are we partners, then? Not the expression I'd use. Hey, but this conversation never took place, okay? Zack will go with you, and I want to be informed about everything. Of course, Inspector. Goodbye. Fare thee well, my lord. Can I ask you something briefly? Hmm? I found a bear trap in the woods. Are those kind of traps even allowed? I know there are hunters out and about all year round, but I'm sure they don't use bear traps. There aren't any bears in England. What are the traps for, then? And who set them? Maybe the bears have laid some to catch the hunters. You've got a logical explanation for everything, haven't you? The most important thing for you is that you don't have to waste any time having a proper look at things. Hmm. That's what it looks like. The inspector said that it, it wouldn't be a problem if I wanted to have a look at Miss Valley's house for myself, but that you should come along to keep an eye on me. If that's what he said, I'll go and get the keys. Mm. Have fun with the search. Just tell me when you want to go. Newspaper clippings about Vic's murder. I can't imagine how anyone could murder a child so brutally. An empty notepad. What are you doing there? I just wanted to take a piece of paper to take some uh, notes. Hmm.
Hmm. It's a blank piece of paper at first sight, but I can make out a weak imprint. Unfortunately, I can only make it out and not read it. Anything against me taking a piece of coal? I don't think anybody would have anything against that. The trick has always worked before. That has to be the same letter as the one I found in the shack. You can still read a bit of it. In case we are unable to... Uh, the evil... We fail in our goal and the order never existed. Already sacrificed... That was never my intention. If the cursed one, then... Oh, now it's looking very faint. It can't be allowed to find any trace that might lead to us. I get it. This is Miss Valley announcing that the Order should be disbanded should anything go wrong. That explains a lot. She must have really loved her brother. Now this could be interesting. Miss Valley's book collection. Let's take a look. English history and stories, Camelot and the Holy Grail, huh. from William the Conqueror to Magna Carta. Aha, a folder from a university. Constable, can I take a look at this folder here? That's just books about science and the like. Was that a yes? Okay by me, but don't take too long. Hieroglyphs and the history of their origin in the damn weighty tongue. No black ball. Hmm. If I'm lucky, then nobody else will have found it either. Now all I have to do is find out exactly where this burial mound is. be a few significant words in these research papers from which I can work out the exact location. I think three words will do it. Earth samples from the marsh. There's only one here. Hmm. Small animal bones. Definitely rare. I ought to make note of that. Got something I can work with. Sector I-3 in the marsh. I've been round there already when I was looking for the portals. And there's a place where there are lots of small animal bones. I must be able to find that. Zack, I've seen enough. Let's go. Please, put the folder away again, and then we can go. Hello. As far as I can remember, there wasn't a pile of stones here yesterday. There's something wedged between the stones. A piece of paper. An envelope with my name on it. <laughs> this is starting to get a bit creepy. An envelope with my name on it. No sender's address, nothing. Hope 
is the guardian's second virtue. It nourishes the wise, but it fools the measured, who mindlessly rest on its promises. The next weird message. I kind of expected it. Whoever's playing this little game with me knew I'd pass by the swamp. I'll just have a try in this direction. Wasn't all that difficult to find. I've never seen a burial mound from the inside. To be honest, never from the outside either. Let's see what awaits. It smells old here. Very old. Wind's blown half the wood in here. No black balls down there. All empty. Nothing to be found. So, this is where they actually laid the dead. The floor is made of stone, covered with a layer of dirt. They sure couldn't have buried the ball. It's not worth it. I'm not going to find anything like this. Mordred would definitely have known where to look. How come I'm not getting a vision now? Hey, Mordred, where are you when you need it? Just a minute. That's not such a bad idea. If I don't take my pills and then wait here for long enough, I'm bound to have a vision sooner or later. I mean, why not here? Although it does say on the warning label that it's at least two weeks before the meds stop working. Maybe I can speed that up? Just a matter of how. 